Are you a subject matter expert who struggles to speak with confidence? Are you losing career opportunities and feeling stuck because of your stage fear and nervousness during presentations? Isn't that affecting your happiness and your family's future? Welcome to the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bashal Sarkar, India's celebrity expert in practical public speaking, where he shows you how to speak with confidence, deliver rock solid confident presentations in front of decision makers without any stage fear. Would you like to become the confident man, gain more respect, and enjoy a happy life? Then listen carefully because this is showtime. For knowing more about the upcoming practical public speaking courses and opportunities to get mentored by Mr. Bishal himself, go to bishalsarkar.com. Again, you can go to bishalsarkar.com. For more information about having a conversation with our team members about your situation, show starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. You are fired. Hey, this is Anupama Chatterjee and this is the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bishal Sarkar and today we are discussing about why major companies are getting rid of their most experienced employees just like you. That's right. So Bishal, what do you think? Why are the companies getting rid of their most experienced and successful professionals? It's funny sometimes when we hear this and say this, but it's not funny when exactly. it happens to you, right? <laughs> like, like many people talk about, oh, people are getting fired and all that. But when they get that letter in their hand, it, it's a tough thing. Because let me tell you, a lot of people think that knowledge is still a big deal. Right. Like there was a time, Anupama, you know this, that people could just read a lot of books and know numbers and know uh, the uh, capitals of 27 states and like, wow, you know so much today. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. It's, exactly. it's no more about knowledge because I often say knowledge is no more the differentiator. It's the entry fee. So you might be an IT professional. You might be a project manager. You might be a leader and yes. you might have a lot of years of experience. But the problem is that your promotion is on hold or... Um, you see other people who are getting ahead of you and the right. prices of things are going ahead. You know, it's going bigger and bigger. The oh, things every are, day. Everything is going high, but your salary is not increasing because you're not getting the promotion because you think it's all about knowledge. It's not. So I think um, knowledge is no more the entry fee. In fact, I can tell you that your company's senior leadership team uh, don't really want more knowledge from you because they think, you know, a lot of people, a lot of IT professionals, you know, a lot of people come to us for getting help because right. they want to overcome their stage fear, become a more confident speaker. And uh, they just think that they, if they do more work, it's going to be all right. Yes. Actually, we get a, we get calls from lots of people who call us and just they tell us, I know this, I have a lot of knowledge and I can't express yeah. what I want to they say. They can't express, that's right. And I, I, I don't know how to take my uh, position to the next level. And they say that I'm working hard and hard and hard, but I'm still not getting the recognition right now. Exactly. Right? What they mean is that yeah. uh, they don't know they're giving what the other person is not looking for. So their yeah. management or the leadership team is asking for something. Yeah. So I'm looking for pizza and they're giving me soup. That's right. So that's what's happening. Yeah, exactly. That's a good example, by the way. I mean, just think about it. If you are a gift person, right? You, you like more of a gift, like physical gift. Totally. If you want to send me some gifts, <laughs> feel free to send me. I'm always open. I'm not a gift person. So if somebody gives me a lot of gifts, that doesn't speak to me. I'm more of an affirmation person. If somebody tells me how I'm making an impact in their lives, that matters a lot to me. Right. So... Um, a lot of people think I I'm just have to speak a lot. I just have to work hard. That's not it. So let me tell you what your senior management is really looking for. Do you think it's going to be helpful for them, uh, Nupama, to, to learn this? Absolutely. Because work are majorly done by people who are like newbies and the new people in the profession. Yeah. But what people really need to know from you yeah. is how to get the cutting edge. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, honestly, people who are starting in their career, like two, three years of experience, they don't belong in my world. I mean, I love them, respect them, but they, <laughs> it's not the right thing for them. I mean, many people will think, oh, that's an arrogant statement. Yeah. Primary school, primary uh, school students uh, don't fit into university. That's not an arrogant <laughs> statement. You know, that, that's the reality. So I I work with subject matter experts only. And I think sure. what is there, they, they really don't understand is senior management is not looking for more work. They're not looking for you to do and prove yourself what they're looking for 
is for you to show leadership. Yes. Okay. They want you to show leadership. So can you, okay, you do the work. You you have done the technical work. You're in the middle level management, but do really people follow you? Do people really come to you to get impacted? Can you lead a meeting? Can you know a meeting? Can you get some clients? If you, that's leadership, right? It's, it's, right. it's about leading from the front. It's about getting things done. Most people don't understand that. So that's so, the main thing. In fact, I was speaking to a gentleman today itself. And what the gentleman told me was that Anupama, I'm not being visible in the right. marketplace. Yeah, yeah. I'm there, I'm doing all the work, but I'm not being visible. So Bishal, what would you say? What would be some strategies that you want uh, to give our listeners today? A, a lot. To be honest, um, This the Confident Man Show is all about helping people become more confident so they can have more respect, have more recognition and make more money. Yes. Uh, right now, a lot of people, if you know, they say, no, I don't want to make more money. Great. Uh, you want you know it's a very common thing people say money doesn't buy happiness let me tell you this money can do a lot of things that can avoid a lot of unhappiness yes okay so so in order for you for example one of our clients alok really doubled his income in a matter of 12 to 18 months in the last uh, 12 to 18 months and how he did that is a few things right now that i can just share with the listeners so if you're listening to it right now here is the thing number one you can't just no more you can't be just an average expert you have to brand yourself as an authority do you understand that anupama Yes, knowing and being an authority are completely different. Yeah, yeah. It's you have to brand yourself as an authority. You have to just position yourself so that people look at you and don't fuck around with you anymore. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Like it, it might challenge a few people in their thought process, and I'm fine with that. Okay. You have to position yourself as person that people feel challenged all the time. Like, oh my God, if I stay with him, he is, he is going to challenge me. You have to be that authority. So he's people somebody. know he is a somebody. I don't know who he is, but he's a somebody. I don't know what he does, but he does something. I don't know who he is, but I want to be like him. You want to be that person. Brand yourself as an authority. And the second thing is you want to create demand for yourself. Now, what do you, what do you understand by creating demand for yourself, Arupama? I think it's not just doing my own stuff and doing all the hard work, but creating uh, an environment when people are looking for my stuff. Right. I'm doing the work, but I'm just not doing it all the way. But yeah. people are asking for it. In fact, let me tell you, uh, this is one of the challenges that I had earlier in my career when I used to work for a company called First Source. Um, uh, you know, before I started my businesses, um, people used to treat me very strangely. I was just one of those guys. You know, tell like me more about it. In- invisible. I mean, I was like, as if I, nobody saw that I existed. I, I felt like an Atma, you know, <laughs> like people could see through me, but they couldn't see me. I felt like that. And many people do feel like that because if you're listening to the show right now, dear listener, you can see other people buying their dream house. You like their Facebook cover photo. Great. Congratulations on the, you do all that. You comment on their stuff. And then you imagine the current house loans that you have. You look at your, the bills you're paying, you, the heavy interests, the EMIs and all the other purchases that are pending, the school fees of your kids, the new furniture that your wife wants to get for, for the drawing room. And after all that, you feel that I can never buy my dream house so that you lie to yourself. When you go back to your home, you, you lie to yourself. You justify by saying, well, my current home is my dream home. But you know, that's not the reality because every night you go to sleep, you know that you and your family deserves a better lifestyle with less stress. And more happiness. And the way to overcome that is to create yourself an authority. What do you understand by the word authority, Anupama? Quickly. Like you said, it's not about who, what I do. Like you said, I don't know who he is, but he is somebody. So that's and, what it's an authority. And there are a lot of different ways you can do that. One of the ways I teach people in our program, the Confident Expert Live Experience, where I mentor people to overcome their stage fear and become a confident speaker, is something that I call the KLT factor. What is it? It's called no like and trust factor okay people will only stay with you and give you promotions and and do business with you and um, create opportunities for you when they feel they are they know you they like you and they trust you now let me ask you a question anupama no like would you give your house key to somebody that you do not like do not know and do not trust absolutely big no yeah absolutely and that key is the key to an organization for many people so the reason many people take that key from you from your hand in an organization the key called job is because they don't know you they feel like i don't know this guy i don't like this guy i don't trust this guy i don't i don't feel he can do the next thing so they get fired and when you get fired it's a terrible very painful situation because you have to come back home go to monster.com where there is no monster 
you know it's like little baby jobs and you have to apply for the job and again and, and and your baby comes to you when you're looking at the laptop saying papa papa can you play with me and you say no i have to apply for a job your wife comes and says honey can we go for a dinner you say no i have to make some calls for some recommendations from friends that's a terrible situation to be in so if you totally. look at the people who who are the legends of the world like sort of ganguly people like da 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 why do they do it because <laughs> we feel we know him like him and trust him that klt fact that's a big big lesson steve jobs many people don't use apple okay products but we feel like we know him like him and trust him your best friend you feel like you know him like him and trust him and that's exactly what the thing is so use the klt factor and anupama you can do that for yourself as well many times you do it uh for yourself but apply it in your life and you'll see tremendous success and dear listener you can do the same thing okay thank you bishal for the tip the klt factor uh yeah. now we have a lot of questions today but i'll take just one question bishal could you answer this question this question comes from ram from bangalore he is a support manager he has 17 years of work experience and he has written bishal i have lost multiple opportunities in my life just to avoid talking in public i want to change that i have a daughter who is 5 years old yeah i want her to achieve great success i can't be a role model if i don't take a step forward and change myself first you are my last hope for me and my family please help me bishal yeah that's a great question um, ram i think he recently applied for our course as well as you know anupama we don't work with everybody right when people right. call you 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 mention to them that our courses are not for everybody yes. we are very selective about who we work with so There's i think there is a selection process there is a selection process and there should be i think i think ram what you, what you have to understand is you're losing multiple opportunities the only question i have for you not only ram, but all the people who are have the same question i'm losing opportunities maybe you want to change that or maybe you are having good opportunities you want a better life maybe a better lifestyle maybe you don't want that house loan anymore maybe you don't want the stage fear anymore maybe you want to secure yourself before you get that firing pink slip right. what to do pretty simple don't get ready stay ready stay ready by using the right skills the tools the techniques so that you are no more the person that people are thinking about firing at all the yeah. question is no more should i fire ram the question should be how much else how much more can i pay ram to make him stay in our company if right. you do that and that's a great thing he said that you know i want to be a role model for my daughter in fact it reminds me of, of one of our clients who is also a part of rule your life mastermind satish satish karthi works for the company yahoo which was recently um acquired by Verizon. Yes. Um he was going through a tough time about a year ago where you know a lot of downsizing was happening. Yeah. Um he was not fired. Here's why. He did he's not just an average expert. He understand how to brand himself. Now he knows how to brand himself as a leader, as an authority, as an expert, as a powerful communicator. Number 2, he has created a demand for himself and number 3 is a great communicator right now. So when he came okay. to us in the beginning, he did not know anything about speaking. He was a terrible um, and he knows that. And, and Satish when he listens to it, he's going to agree. He was a terrible speaker. He did not know how to make a great first impression. He did not know how to connect with an audience. He did not know how to uh, brand himself. But today by learning all that, he is really changed everything and i can tell you another thing final quick thing for ram and everybody is one quick mistake that many people make that really take them uh, you know out of job that keep them frustrated and burn out and struggling in the family is most people try to prove that i am good proving is a bad thing what you want to do is you want to demonstrate and in the next show we're going to talk more about it so for now ram don't get ready stay ready ram i hope that really answers your question and we talk about it and mr bishal teaches more of it in his program the confident expert life experience now if you want to explore more opportunities and if you want to reach out to me for a discussion you can reach me on 3880 Three six one five two six. Yeah, that's triple eight zero three six one five two six. When you call me, mention to me that you have listened to the show, and when you call me, remember I am not available all day and night to to talk to you. If I don't pick up, I will definitely call you back. Make sure you are available. By the way, the next week's topic is a special one: is using F word acceptable in office environment. And here are our final words. The final word is always the same that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection. connection. Congratulations for listening to today's show. If you're ready to become the confident man in your own life, go to bishalsarkar.com and apply for a conversation today. For that, go to bishalsarkar.com. All right, time for me to go. Have a confident day.